hey, see Linda Law videos, find the exact value of a trigonometric function. Um, this one has to do with co-terminal angles. I just want to mix that in. First of all, I want to say I'm so surprised so many of you guys are doing uh, trig. It's, in my opinion, it's honestly at least as difficult as calculus. So let's try to jump in and see what we have. The question I have is to find the exact trig values of theta equaling 3 pi 6. So what I did was I, I went to the unit circle. Right? I went to the unit circle and I was like, okay, where is where is that value? Where is 13 pi 6? And I looked. I'm like, okay, here, now, here, here. I go around. It's not there. So I started to ask myself, is it possible that what happened was I was on the unit circle. I went all the way around one time and then went more. Because if you go 360 degrees and you go 30 more degrees, you're at 390 degrees as an example, which is coterminal with 30 degrees. So is it possible we have this coterminal thing happening? So I go back, I look. Our degrees, <clears throat> excuse me, not our degrees, our angular value here is measured in radians. So I need to compare this to, to 2 pi. So what I want to know is, is 13 pi 6, is that more than 2 pi? Is it more than one time around that circle? So this is my question. All I'm going to do is set this up as an equivalent fraction, not as an equivalent fraction, but a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 6 over 6. Now I'm going to ask myself, is 13 pi 6 greater than 12 pi 6? And it is. So I'm like, okay, now I know what happened. I was on the unit circle. I went all the way around it, right? And then I got to, the, I got to 2 pi, right? All, one time around is 2 pi. And then I got a little bit farther than that. Well, how much farther? So I asked the question, 13 pi 6 minus 12 pi 6 <clears throat> is equal to pi 6. And I know that pi 6 is on the unit circle. I'm going to go check. So here's the back on the unit circle. And here, here's that angular value. I'm like, okay, that's good news. I also know that here and here, this is the cosine value. This is cosine of theta, in this case, cosine of pi 6. And this is sine <clears throat> of pi 6. So it gives me something to start with. So all I'm going to do is that. I'm just going to start. I'm going to say that sine of pi 6, right? And when I say sine of your, somebody's going to ask me, how can we keep saying pi 6 when we want to know 13 pi 6? Because they're coterminals. So it is true to say that sine of 13 pi 6 is equal to, uh, it's still coterminal to this. It's going to have the same answer. And I looked on the unit circle and it said that that sine value is 1 half. I check the cosine value, and the cosine value is the same as cosine of pi 6. So cosine of 13 pi 6 is square root 3 over 2, right? Next thing I want to do is find tan of 13 pi 6, right? When I get tan of 13 pi 6, we have to keep in mind that tan is sine theta over cosine theta. That's really a really important ratio to have. So when I take that, I start to look at it this way. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get tan of 13 pi 6. And that is going to be equal to 1 half over square root 3 over 2. This is a correct answer, but your professor or your teacher will not accept that they want this cleaned up. This is a complex fraction, AB over CD. So to simplify it, we take the numerator the way it is, and we take the reciprocal of the denominator. So it's true to say that tan of 13 pi 6 <clears throat> is equal to 1 half times 2 over square root 3. 1 half is this numerator here left just the way it was. 2 over square root 3 is the reciprocal of square root 3 over 2, isn't it? These cancel. So like, okay, I got this done. And I have tan of 13 pi 6 is equal to 1 over square root 3. And your professor says, that's not okay. That's, that's not an accurate answer. Well, it is actually an accurate answer. However, we are not allowed to have a radical in the denominator. Therefore, we have to rationalize the denominator. So I'm just going to multiply by square root 3 over square root 3. This is just a stupid little trick, but it works great. So I have tan of 13 pi 6. So I have 1 times square root 3 is square root 3. Square root 3 times square root 3, as long as they are the same root, we can multiply these numbers. 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Right? From here, we go to cosecant of 13 pi 6. 
which is just 1 over sine, isn't it? Is 1 over sine 13 pi 6. It's a reciprocal identity, right? So that should equal, right? That should equal 2, because if I take the reciprocal of 1 half, the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. Then we have secant of 13 pi 6. Secant is 1 over cosine theta. So I'm going to take this. This is the cosine value with square root 3 over 2, right? So we have, let me do this, secant of 13 pi 6. What a thing, right? Is 2 over square root 3, right? That's the reciprocal. Remember, your professor is not going to be okay with this. She's not going to be okay with this. She's going to want this thing rationalized, so I'm going to multiply by square root 3 over square root 3, and we'll say that secant of 13 pi 6 is equal to 2 square roots. 2 times square root 3 is 2 square roots of 3, isn't it? Square root 3 times square root 3 is square root 9, which is 3. So that secant value is square is 2 square roots of 3 over 3. And lastly, the cotan value, right? The cotan value is just square root 3. So cotan 13 pi 6. Cotan of 13 pi 6 is just going to be square root 3. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're taking this course, you're really smart. This is really tough stuff. I hope I've explained it well. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks for the support, you guys.